television for entertainment and development. This is the Dead Channel.
kung madapot ang usa ka maayong na kandidato tungod sa fake news or disinformation then that can candidate will lose the election so when the candidate loses an election because of dishonest information that is not truthful and incorrect then the election is no longer an honest, fair, and clean election. Honest, fair, and clean elections, these are, uh, these are the things that we look at in the election in order for our democracy to thrive. So, kung dili, doon po lang is in kin election, then it weakens the entire democratic process. Okay? Now, sa usa ka election, o usa ka kampanya, pila ka adlaw ang campaign sa local? 45. Pila ka adlaw sa national? 90. 90 days. Pila ka adlaw ang botohan? Only one day. Only one day. So more than 90% of our time during election season is spent on campaigning and 100% of campaigning is spent on, or say 98% is spent on communications. So very crucial ang right, correct, and truthful information in a campaign. Ang panglimbong dili na nang limited sa last day nga ako sa kandidato, mas nagang kwarta sa ako sa kandidato. Dili na na during that voting day. Panlimbong can also happen during the campaign. Di ba? Do you agree with me? Yes. So therefore, we must fight fake news. We must dismiss this information so that we keep our elections clean, fair, and honest, and thereby having an election that's credible and a credible election that strengthens our democracy. Tagalan tamo example sa disinformation. The biggest phase of disinformation karong to Ega 2019 is Bikoy. Yes. Kailan mong Bikoy? Diba mo na yung taong na doon na siya ay hood, pakasay dagway, ingon siya na si Presidente, ang First Lady, o kanyang anak na katawa si Agnos, mga protector ko sa drag ring. Si Bongo, doon na kung na siya ay tato, dali si Nikod, tapos doon na yung number star. And what did Bongo do? Kung bukas, bukas siya t-shirt ito sa busa ng sur, napatay na kita na tato. Wala. Nabay na ng ustara. Wala. So, therefore, klaro guilt nga pangguba black propaganda kay Bongko o sa Presidente, kinigin ni Dikoy. Kung kaya buhaton sa atong mga kontras politika sa Osaka Presidente, o pamilya, kineng disinformation. What more ang simple ng tao? I'm sure there is a inyo sa Uzamis, doon na po ay disinformation sa mga kampanya eleksyon. May posible wala. Doon na nyo dali. Naloy yung tao ng kandidato na limpyo, andam, and prepare ng demoryo then we, the citizens, if that candidate loses because of this information, we will be denying ourselves of a future promising leader. So, muna, as simply, dismiss this information. Ang iyo ko ninyo, mga members media, kay kamo mga yung mga influencer ninyo, na tabangan ninyo ang gobyerno Magkampanya aning dismiss this information sa atong katapos.
pertawanan because it is the civic responsibility of every private citizen to share what is only correct, honest, and truthful information. Kung makabalo ang katawanan about any this business information through all of you, then they will be practicing, exercising their civic responsibility and thereby they will be contributing to a clean, fair, and honest elections. Impossible magbunt na kita lang na media mo yung himo kampanya. There are more than 50 million Filipinos on social media and in effect, kining mga 50 million na Filipinos on social media in their own right, para sa mga broadcaster pod. So if they share this information or fake news, para disud kibawi pun ba? Sa ano mga pasan na bitaw? So we must encourage them not to share fake news. Because if they will be sharing fake news, then they are contributing to an election that will be a clean, unfair, and a dishonest elections this 2018. Secretary, in relation to what you have said about uh, Bicoy, that's the most viral. Now, you sa pagtratar sa imuhang opisina, and in relation also to the matrix na nag-gone uh, viral also. You sa pagtala? Yes, po. Um, that's a good question. Um, Amo ping ipaning kamutan na makalibot ni Mr. Wong Pilipinas. So, to promote this, this business information, it's number one. Uh, as we speak, to na may 17-day media marathon sa Manila. Ang uh, ako'y representative dito na spokesperson si Pia Roses Morato. Ito siya ang uh, libot sa mga radio stations and to talk to the radio stations and tell them that uh, about our campaign and ilang kay imo example si Bongo kay siya mga kay uh, recipient ng mga fake news from the very beginning. Kinong tumoy, nung sila na pinapil ko nung siya sa project sa Navy na hindi po tinuon. Nagindagan ko ng senador, na senador na inuon. Imbis na wala kayo eh, kandidato ang administration, nabugangan na inuon. So, tapos kinigandi ko eh, napil ko nung siya, nadili pang siya pinan eh. So, that's, that's what we are doing right now. And number two, we are also waiting for the investigation of the DOJ and the Philippine National Police. Kaya kining matrix, Mongo. You know, you know the importance of the matrix. Di ba ipanganlan sa matrix o kinsa itong mga allegedly involved sa pag-disseminate aning disinformation, the biggest disinformation this year by the name of Ikoy. What is important here in this case is that the government is saying that there is no room for this information in our society. Kung kinsa mo itong mga allegedly involved, whether they are prominent media personalities or very established media organizations, there is no space for this information in our society. And number two, whether you are a journalist from Manila or Bukidnon, Kagendigor, or Osamis, whether you are nationally famous or you're locally popular, whether you are rich or you are poor, whether you come from an organization that is listed in the stock market or an organization that is a Osamis or a Gayan. Nobody is above the law. One important thing and lesson na ito tinangan. Kamudere. Pila mo mudere ka buhok na pailang o paipel is kwarto. Paipel. So, sumuan. Tutulot ang buhok na pailang paipel. Kanya, nagsabak-sabak mo. Ang gibuat ninyo, gitirin sa mga suporte, you face 
you're an abuser and you try to prove yourself that this case is nonsense. You don't do it in fanfare. Libel is a case that does not know any social status. Kung nasayot ka, kasuang ka libel, it is our responsibility as journalists to vet the information that we announce. We are very powerful because we have the freedom of the press. But the other side also has the right to go to a lawyer and to seek redress through a court kung nasakitan sila sa atong gipanulti kontra nila. It is also their right. So one of what I'm saying is that nobody is above the law. We have our privileges, but we also have our responsibilities. Uh, whether you are uh, in Manila or in Cusabis. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ms. Tata. So next question will come from GMA7. Uh, Neptali Batolino, please. Next would come from Manuel Rukilio. Please prepare. Sir, we will ask you. So, sa mga pag nabi natin ngayon ng eleksyon, sa mga nato pag identify this information kung nato sa uh, propaganda sa mga politiko. Okay, thank you. Ayo, Manuel? Natalie. 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 Jeme. Jeme. Stringer. Jeme. Uh, nato itulog ang book na termin ako na itip sa atong mga listeners na ito to them on the radio station. Number one, kung doon na kayo nakitaan ng balita sa inyong news feed, identify ang source. Is it a legitimate news organization or not? Kung doon is a legitimate, then think twice before sharing. Number two, basa nga ang tipo article. Kung doon ay consistent na correct ang iyan uh, storya talye na ba then um, what you do is think twice if you should share or not number three kung dili ka kasi korano kung fake news pa yon dili it's so easy to ask your family member office mate your friend your neighbor before you even share. So those are the three tips that I can give our listeners, viewers, and leaders how to avoid sharing this information. Hello, Mr. Sir. Ah, what's it take sa sa inyo movies? Ilagay na may lago ng kung ang Rockler di ba sa pagcover ng presidente ng tete? Privilege ba or not? It's a privilege to cover the president face to face. In fact, when writing a story per se, dili man sila ban. Pwede man sila matan ao sa PTV, matan ao sa Facebook, matan ao sa mga radio stations and to write the stories. In fact, they continue to write stories about the president and about the executive branch. But to cover the president in the same venue is a privilege that the president can give. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, next question would uh, come from Manuel Rakilio of DXDDCMN. Sir, uh, good morning. Um, sa ang giling mga disinformation, wala lang dinilamang sa social media no, na exist. Lapot sa, dito yun sa masa na ito. Lapot din sa eleksyon. Doon ang mga, mga information o disinformation yung ipakatag ang uban. Ang mga, ang uh, mga mutante, ang ito sa mga katawan nga. Yung may bawaan sa usang kakandidato. Kung kung saan yung mga pagamutaran dito yun sa, dito yun sa mga presinto. So, 
uh, muna yung pagkatawin niya sa masa. So, kung sa iba ninyo ang nasun, uh, sa part ninyo, uh, kaya nasa iyo punta, hindi yung punang tinuod, no? yun lang ha. So, sa part ninyo, sir, kung sa iyo ang nasun, kaya nasa iyo ka, ka, uh, um, so, sa iyo ang nasun, kaya nasa iyo ang nasun, kaya nasa iyo ang nasun, kaya nasa kaya kontrol kung sa isulti sa usang tao. Number two, we also have the freedom of expression na pinahalan po na ito mantaya. We must also respect that clause in the Constitution. But I will go back again to what I said earlier. It is the civic responsibility of every citizen to disseminate only the correct, the right, and the truthful information. Okay? Number two, kung doon ay fake news for or disinformation na ikalat sa public, if you can name the source of that, then kung kinsa man itong agreed party can always complain, can always seek redress, can always file slander or like that. Kita po as media personalities, we must un, uh, relent. Kailan, 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 kailan na relentless kita sa itong uh, campaign for to dismiss this information. It's part of the election season. It will always be there year in, year out, election in, election out. Do not be mga batuhan ng topic. So we just have to be persistent sa atong campaign against this information. Okay. So, ang administrasyon ni President Del Rodrigo Duterte, doon na ba yung mga programa or mga ibong kakayuhan ang nagusap din na ito sa mga media practitioners sa ibong kaso na ito? That's a good question. The first administrative order na nag-ipirmahan ni President para sa media, uh, creating the Presidential Task Force on Media Security, AO number one. The second executive order ng ipirmahan ni Presidente, nakupon na contribution para ka natong sa media. Morning Freedom of Information, executive order number two. Nakasunat sa atong media or journalistic code of ethics, number four, nakasulat dito, that we as media practitioners should continue to fight for more public access to information. By signing the executive order number two of freedom of information, the president has effectively given us the media workers that policy that we have been asking for since 1986. Thirdly, under my leadership, kining FOI, AO number one, o pangkatulo, kining government media bridge policy. The government media bridge policy is a policy that that mandates PCO to go around and to talk to the media. And I have been doing that engagement with the media. Kay, if we want faster nation building, we must have a good collaboration or cooperation uh, with the private media. And because of my con consistent engagement with the media this year alone at Toko, Bebeisiha, Lakan, Pampanga, Cavite, Napitan, Tipolog, Cebu, Dabao, Lutuan, Sumigao, Degas, Pinaga, tingnan kaya akong ililiputan mo, at Cavite, now, Samis. I'm getting 
so many ideas and feedbacks and problems. So because of this engagement that we're having, it gave me the idea that we should have a regional media summit election. So every region from region 1 to 17 plus AR, BARN. Para we can identify ang mga problema na to sa atong trabaho, atong workplaces, atong uh, general welfare. We have so many issues in the media ito, and we must resolve those issues. So, nagal kayo na nagot ng mga tara, ang historia. They want this regional media summit so that we can identify the problem, look for solutions, and then somehow be able to organize a national media summit and perhaps write a declaration uh, to end the challenges that we have in our industry. So, part of the Dunaway program na kapalhatag mo o tabangan ninyo ang usang ka media practitioner o Dunaway program siguro sa mga Oh well, no. Ang ako, that's my personal advocacy. So do na mga media man na naisa kit. Sa kanyo para asistan sa something. Just a just a small assistance and monthly pampalit sila mga na maintenance. Oh, but that's my personal. Ah okay, same mga kanya sa sa video. Okay, thank you. Next would come from Elaine May Lapinig of KFTV. Good morning. Good morning. Is there a law that protects this misinformation? Is there a law that protects this misinformation? There's no law that protects this misinformation. There's no law that gives us that Authority. Nga pugnan lugar ng mga tao to to disseminate this information. But we do have libel laws, slander, at the mga nanabalaw. Because namumuntay freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of the press. So this this misinformation is actually a media literacy campaign na conceptualize ka noong 2017 when I opened in one of the major ASEAN dialogues I was the chairman of the ASEAN responsible for information ASEAN ministers ASEAN minister ministers responsible for information AMRI ASEAN ministers responsible for information so I was the chairman during that time and I was the one who initiated the dialogue about fake news. So from then, the town in this business information. But we have no specific laws that, uh, that uh, penalizes or punishes somebody that spreads this information. But we do have libel. Okay. Um, second question, sir. Panan uh, body is Osama's to put edge to put a stop? sa fake news. Yes. Panano ba? Do you agree with the Congressman Romano's suggestion na ihangi propose to the Congress sa Kamara kini nga pag-organize po cyber crime council like Well, the Congressman has his experiences perhaps here in Osamis and Let's see. Kung unsay mga mga sulat nila sa iyang talaw, we have to review whatever is in there. But you know, our first one, our mother and I, we we are good friends, and I always see him in Congress, and he's very supportive of the budget of the Presidential Communications Operations Office. Wherever Congressman is, I'd like to greet him. A very good morning. Thank you so much.
Okay, thank you. So let's welcome Teddy Alpizar of Ted Channel for his question. Okay. So next is Joan uh, Antasuda of One TV. This one, 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 number one, one. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, karon, ato na ibaluan ng coming ng mga election. So ang um, kasagaran ang problema karon is ang um, vote buying. Uh, Naabot sa hayop tanga na don na uh, ang ikaw supporter na kasa candidate niya makadawat ka na na ang dili na na siya vote buying kaya ka support naman ka. Kung sa mga pumuhang take ano uh, na comments? You mean kung ang supporter makadawat o gahatagi ka sa politiko, dili niya po siya, dili daw siya makonsider o vote buying. Well, let me put it this way. Vote buying is illegal. Right? It is a form of corruption. If I give you money for you to vote for me, that is already a form of bribery. So I am not for vote buying in any form or in any shape. That's my answer. So, um, uh, on saan pag, uh, dili ang hipotang mag-usahay sa information sir, kay hinatag lang, kanya lang, mura o pasalamat, then during sa election, Considered gabon siya as vote buying, pero ang iba labas ng mga kay gift lang sa politiko at sa yahang mga supporters. Mao mo kundi kasi karan bita mo kung kakaroon sir. So sa move ninyo nga ma-inform po ang mga katawhan ng pili na siya mo receive ana o ang politiko, ang mga politiko dili na sa nila iya buhaton ang mga 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 buhaton. One thing is, you know, it's a vicious cycle, and kinala nato o whole of nation approach to solve the problem of vote buying, and one of the problems that continue to haunt all of us is the problem of poverty. We need to solve poverty in order for our fellow voters to stop selling their votes. And let's talk about it over a bottle of beer next time. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Um, next would come from Noel, visitation of Dalit TV. Ayong buntag, Secretary. Ayong buntag, sir. Kanang balik ka sa inyong kampanya, karo. Kung wakong masayo, ang usa sa mga dakong hinundan na nung ilusa ninyo kinimuha ng kampanya, tungod sa YouTube channel na naghahatag ng pamahayag si Allegedly Bigoy. Kanang, doon naman tayo, Earlier, di mo nang mga dunay investigasyon na bibay kayo. So, kumustahon lang na ito, kung kung saan ay dagan sa investigasyon ni Kaduha, gusto sa nato masayang vis-a-vis sa itong nagatunay ng mga balawag kayo di mo nang kasabi ka ganina nga, murag kulang pa, we have a cybercrime law, we have libel law, slander law. Are these not enough? Di ba dahil makontrolar kung ang pamahaya kung sa inyong tanaw, sobra na kayo? Well, wala ko naging mga nakula na atong balangon. Pero I said, that we have no specific law for this information as the lady uh, asked earlier about this information. We have enough laws in our hands. Kung victim ka sa fake news or this information, then stand for yourself, for your right, file a libel case against the person who peddled lies.
is against you. But in the case of Bikoy, what may that way is Bikoy? 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 But the DOJ and the PNP are investigating it. Kung asa na ang ilang investigation na stage, I will have to find out sa among cabinet meeting karong maabot na lunes. Again, I would like to reiterate nga the lesson here sa Bicoy case and the Matrix is that there is no room for this information or company. It is very dangerous. Kung matuto ang tao sa disinformation, mapil dito mga kandidato na pwede yung tao madildihan sa atong tanan. So, our election becomes dishonest, unfair, and unclean. Dili na sa clean, fair, honest elections. So, it pollutes the entire electoral exercise and undermining our democratic process. Mo nang result aning disinformation. So, mo nang ipaningkamot yun na masartang yun ba sa atong katawan na ang panlimbong selection, dili ila dito sa mong tahing. Sa pagsugod pa lang sa kampanya, during first day all the way to the 45th days of local campaigning. Kung sige ka pa daong ang kandidato, puro fake news. That is already panlimbo. Diba? Don't you agree with me? Diba? Kung delay ka sa nisek one ba? So, kita na mong good sa media ang pwede ko yung mga pandiya ba? Pag tinabangay na to inform the people that you know, cheating is not only during voting, Cheating happens during the first day, all the way during the campaign itself. So, we should also be wary about kining mga amaagi ba sa ato mga kontra sa politika. It's about time that we stand up against this information. Na kung kandidato ka na wakay resources mo sa ato mga bawi, wag yun. Di ka makabawi, di ka pilitik ng sigurado. Okay, uh, sa pika sa gabahe ni Sekretary, um, ang gobyerno doon ay katakos na mo ay lulat na huwag mo sa pagsulti ni Mubaba, Mubahonong Nene. Although ang platform din di magawa sa gila ni Pamahayag, di lang natong kontrolado kaya ito ang man sa gawas. No? Ang website, for example, ang man sa gawas, yung nag-upload ni mo, sila na yung magkapagawas. Pero wala ba yung mahimaw na itong gobyerno to? put a stop to this disinformation campaign of the abilities. Doon naman may book, gobyerno, kay, like what you said, very important, and I'd like to to commend you for mentioning it. You cannot control yung mga private companies, like Facebook. Saan ka rin mo control sa Facebook, YouTube, na sa private companies? Bilang i-down ang mga supporters ni Presidente ng mga Facebook pages. Wala tayo mabuhat. Kaya ilang man ang Facebook. We can make this business information a successful campaign. Thank you, Sir. Okay, thank you. From Samis Chamber TV, Dodo Mikaborda, please. I'm boring, sir. This is my question, sir. Liberal groups yesterday dumbfasted the Duterte administration for its failure to implement indoor or in-home drugs. How serious is the precedent to end indoor? Sorry, can you repeat? Liberal groups yesterday dumbfasted the precedent for its failure to end to implement into How serious is the president to end into Into End of contracts. End of contracts. Okay. Liberal Group Sister Day na passed with the Duterte administration for its failure to implement into 
How serious is the president going into? Very serious. Very serious. And Endo has been a problem since time immemorial. And the Department of Labor and Employment is doing its best na masolusyonan yun yun yung undang na ng Endo. In fact, daga na kayo mga companies na ilan ang gitang-tang ng Endo sa ilang uh, contracts sa ilang mga trabahante. But, it's again, it's an ongoing a uh, battle between private company and government and workers because the private companies would say sige di kung inyo gimingi inunong mo ninyo endo di ako na ninyo sarap so what nang harsh reality na kung sarap mas kalibo ka po trabahante mo na trabaho kinsa may maghatag sa ilang trabaho. Mga militante. Hindi po po sila maghatag trabaho. So, mo nang naisiswa niya. But the president is serious. Okay, thank you sir. Another question, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, there are media groups being accused of inspiring other groups of plotting to host the pres uh, President Duterte from power as June in the matrix. As member of media, do you believe the veracity of this accusation? I believe that the intelligence report that was released by the palace has to be investigated by the Department of Justice and Philippine National Police, and for that matter, should be looked into by the Presidential Legal Council. Right now, they are doing that, and I also believe that nobody is about the law. Okay, thanks, sir. Okay, thank you, uh, Sir Pat Nano. Please, for TMC. Good morning, Secretary. Ah, uh, may ipagawa sa to presidente na ah, uh, yang i-pronounce na katong 46 ka mga na senador polis. Ah, uh, simple ba doon na pala yung batch ani? <laughs> oh, wag ko ma sayo doon na pa isa ka batch or third batch ka. Ini prerogative ng presidente. He and only he can decide kung gusto niya we will just have to wait for this announcement. Okay, last que uh, three questions from Best Channel, DXCT, FM, and Clark Channel. I last four questions. So, first is uh, Sir Bernal Texon of Best Channel. Uh, good morning, Secretary. Napagutan na ako ba yun yung awad sa atong sa Food News. Matarang po kabal sa akin, pwede nga ito ang mga kabal sa media po ba? Ang gobyerno ba, doon na pa yung mahimu nga din ka? Mga media organization ka rin na nung po nga. Grabe po doon na ako sa itong mga kaupan na sa media, especially ang mga politiko po. Doon na pa yung mahimu ang PCOO, NTC, para makontrol yung mga organization na ito po ka rin. Good question. Buo po ng pangutahan na dito sa bukit doon. Media, media organizations and media companies are self-regulated. Nana sa atong konstitusyon na natin, freedom of the press, and that freedom of the press gives you, the media, special powers to regulate yourselves. In fact, you are not under the Professional Regulations Commission. Committee. Ah, Commission. No? Ano? PRC. Mandai PRC. In fact, nagan sa itong reklamo po na rin nga, ah, isuko rin ba ito? Suka, itiyan man tayo magbalik. Diba? Ako, tengko, maskong, for years. Pilang mukha po, itong maskong na rin. 
Um, but that's the nature of the beast. Now, naabay mahin mo ang piso ko ng NTC. Pagkabot sa mga organization, so wala kami mahin mo anak. Pero, morning, I recommended a regional media summit or regional media summits all over the Philippines para hisputa, historyahan nato ni problema nato. Every region, regional media, mag-summit ta, the PCOO will sponsor the summit and then let's come up with solutions. That's my suggestion and that is the result of my continuous media engagements around the country. Okay, Alam. Okay. The uh, next would come from Mamlunch uh, uh, Lyurcha Gulaha of DXCTFN. Then, uh, please prepare, Ma'am Elena. Mag sir, good morning, sir. Um, Taliwala sa mga daghan kay ng mga nahimo sa itong presidente, daghan pagkihapon na nagpatikos niya, especially sa mga tao na nagigigal ng mga binuhata. Kung saan man ang iyahang uh, latest uh, uh, solving sa like performance, sir? Thank you. On the first quarter of 2019, according to SWS, 79% of adult Filipinos are satisfied with the president. Based on the latest Pulse Asia survey, 82% of, of Filipinos are um, not only satisfied, but they approve of the president's performance. So all in all, um, very good um, performance of President Day. And if you compare the, the results of the surveys done, for President Duterte and for the preceding, for the past presidents. Record high, record high, record na taas ang in approval and satisfaction rating for a president uh, serving his almost uh, three years in office. Okay. How about in Diri sa Mindanao, sir? Atua. Sa Mindanao, all-time high of 90 plus ang satisfaction of approval kay President Muna magpasalamat ko sa tanan mga taga Osamis, uh, diri sa Osamis Occidental, Osamis City. Masalamat ko ko on behalf of the President and the Cabinet for continuing to trust and to approve of the performance of the President. Kinahanda na mo ang inyong satisfaction, ang inyong approval because it serves as our barometer sa among trabaho. Kung sakto ba among trabaho, sakto ba niya among ginabuhat diri. We take it seriously so that it becomes our guide post sa among pagpalayo sa among trabaho. Salamat kay sir. Okay, thank you uh, Ma'am Elena Pilari of DXCTFM and then the last, si Sir James. <laughs> Websagwa was uh, from this. What's that? What's Deep City? Oh, the is. Uh, I am Elena Pilari from uh, Clark Channel. I Clark Channel. So I did six. My own contact secretary. I'm just a little bit of a guy, but for our army model, ba? For our army, kay kabalo man mi ngayon are way ahead. Ani ng trabaho. Naghangad ba mi ninyo ng style nga San Panelo. <laughs> Malingaw niya na sekretary din. Uh, Mabutang mo lang ito siya na joke. Pero this time, huwag na siya realidad din sa, din sa local. Because everyone of us, uh, if uh, not all of us, is handy politicians. Naka PR, uh, mga ingon anak. So, Gusto lang ni makakuha ang model na itong case ni Bicoy uh, sa, sa imong giingon na uh, doon na kay i-delegate somebody from your office na uh, naglibot-libot sa mga stations or uh, nag-browse uh, nag sa uh, uh, mga mga social media. Uh, kung sa'yo pag-assess mo how 
effective sa itong inyong gihimo to fight against sa itong grupo ni Bicoy or Team Bicoy mismo? Salamat kay Smotana. It's a very tough question kay difficult to measure. But first of all, I would like to thank you also for appreciating Secretary Salpanello and myself. Parehas naman tayo. Mas nagtrabaho kay Kandos Media and I would dread the fact that one would say na nauna ko ay nga na pare-parehas naman tayo. Tapos kagaya di ono ako nag-skwila, I was inspired by media practitioners kagaya di ono while growing up the same way that most of you were inspired by local media practitioners today. Ako, I was inspired by Saldi Ocon, Michael Dre. Ba't ka lang Saldi? Kagaya di ono, I was inspired by him. That's why we are good friends. And um, my message is all of us were once upon a time kids, children, dreaming of becoming somebody one day. And when I was growing up, the Gagayan Dioro, ang akong mga idol, mga radio announcers, si Bong Montalban, si Michael Gray, and DJ Oxy, Sandy Ocon. Sila itong mga Avengers na ako sa una. Yung ako ako. And I was inspired by them. And I continue to think about them and to think, to thank them for the inspiration that they have given me. And ang akong message sa mga naminaw ka ron, ang House TV, na The people that I'm talking to right now, or the reporters, could be your idol or your DJ, or your idol or your uh, your dream, uh, your dream encore to be in the future. So just work hard, strive to be the person that you want to be. Kung nga akong message sa inyo, dinitanan, you may not know this, but You are the Avengers of some people listening to you. So just continue what you're doing. Stick to the journalism the ethics. And one way or another, you are touching the lives of people that you don't know. The same way that you were inspired when you were going out of you. So, parehas lang ta. because I was given this opportunity to work for the President and to be in Malacanian as the PCO Secretary or Press Secretary. I see to it na makalibot kayo po sa provincial media. If you look at my monthly report sa akong activities, 95% sa media na akong Astoria, or 95% of my interviews are interviews done by regional media. Kaya po, to ugin ko na sobra-sobra na ang atensyon kay Hatag sa media sa Manila. Sa probinsya, wala kayo. So, I have made that my objective and my advocacy to reach out to all of you. So please don't say that there you are here. But parehas na tala. I forgot the other question. Kanisya nga po and Secretary, na-arrest ba sa inyong office ang effect ay yung fake news? Okay, okay. Okay. We have been fighting this information for three years already. If the barometer is the satisfaction and approval of the president, I think 
we have been successful in disseminating the correct, the right, and the truthful information about this administration. And I believe that more than us distributing the news are the different media organizations nationwide that are also disseminating the correct and the right and truthful information. So all in all, I will not say that was I successful. I will say that all of us as a media industry are successful in disseminating the correct, the right, and the truthful information. Thank you. Okay, um, last round of my part. This current uh, election, this was disinformation. See, we have no well, I know it's an election on the day, but at least I'm history of who can eat among a disinformation and a propaganda. Now, without in game money, can I see what I'm using? But this is the Avenger Ganina. The Ingun Sinawa is the Endgame. Endgame. It's not Endgame, man. It's not Endgame, man. Okay, so Sir James, take it away from Mindanao Daily. Hi, James. Hi, James. Oh, I'm not sure. Can you tell me? Yeah. Sir, first question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kami sa local media or provincial media or regional. Problem na talaga na ako, ang kuhan, kaya nga mong trabaho na. Kasi nabasa na mo ang atong labor group na sila ay security tenure. Security tenure na gusto sa presidente, mga probahan na to counter contract policization. Ang problema ang media, wala may anak. Ang among mga local companies, abot. Bigyan si mo ng taga ano ni Santo Milipis, Wagmi SSS, ano na? Anyway, kung sa katalo sa PTO, we are so good at making candidates win. We are so good at promoting companies. We are so good at selling different products. The media is so good at doing all. But we are not good in solving our own problems. <laughs> so that is why, James, an upcoming suggestion, recommendation, is to have the regional summits. So hopefully we can have a regional summit in uh, Region 10. Uh, we can also have regional summits in other regions, so we can talk about it extensively. Yeah. And we can find solutions because if we get our act together, somehow, mapagitan ng solution. If we get, if we have one voice, yeah, I believe in that. And if we do not do it, do this now. Tapos apa? So let me um, organize that yeah. after this election. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Senator. A second question. Uh, tapos na, hindi mo na niyo, especially media security. I was there in the game of attending that uh, media security uh, center. And thank you very much for that uh, handbook on security. Now, uh, my question is, I know you know Francis uh, Patindol of the game of the game. Hindi ba lang kung sa kadispatser si Jimmy, partay? I don't know if I will find out because ang Presidential Task Force for Security, we solve media related problems, mm -hmm. media work related. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to use Joel if you have media work related. But uh, even if it even if there is no investigation, I think there is an investigation eh, that there is a problem that is media work related. Um, the Presidential Task Force on Security still investigated the case. It's not really a media, media work related problem. So, the media workers are not going to be able to do it. 
dili kisang latest trabaho ba? So, uh, well, we will still help them solve it. Na solve na ba ito? And so, both one akit ano ba? And then the thing. And then may suspect. So, it's just a matter of uh, finding, searching for the suspect and jailing him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, last to the last. Gabang <laughs> Tana. Sir Jonathan Dula of TED TV Channel. Last na gini, sir. Last na gini. Kaya matu pa si Sex at kayaan si Oro. Kung ako tanaw, hindi siya may gudlo ka na yung pagkalan sa pictures. Pero sa ko lang tao, marag tusa naman siguro ang group. Ano yun? Kini lang mga dami ang taon. Kung wala yung dami ang taon, yes naman kayo yung mga privilege of freedom of run, special, di ba? Pero, kaya sa may hindi na naman fake news. Huwag man siguro yung may nagkalat ang fake news, hindi yung dami ang taon. Pwede ba nga, sa kakakong mga tala is, pwede ba nga, matagat aksyon sa gobyerno nga. Maski, i-aware na siguro yung atensyon ng Facebook nga. I-kuhan na na medyo i- ang pag-uwag mo sa Facebook mo lang sa iyo na kayo mag-uwag account nga kami. Kung pwede siguro mo kuhan ang atensyon ng gobyerno nga. I-aware na ang Facebook na hindi na lang mo. I-ilay lang isala ang mga account. Kung pwede, dugan na ng mga requirements pag-create sa account nga. Ma- sa laptop na kusunti, dili na basta-basta magkabuhat ang account. Nga dami. Okay, mo lang manahin mong dal. Di ba? Okay. Um, Mokodang nila challenge because there's so many people who are experts on Facebook or YouTube already. Mga trolls. Mga trolls nga bagay pangalan, bagay personality, dami din siya. Um, ang problema ni dili lang kanang mga dami nga account. Ang problema ani eh, kanang mga tinuod nga tawo nga magpadami. Wala <laughs> mag na ang problema sa Facebook. So there are real people who act as trolls. But there are also trolls that are trolls. Ang pinakalisod ana kanang mga tinuod nga tawo who are acting as trolls. So a lot of us are victims, I am a victim of it, and we just have to be um, persistent and relentless in talking to Facebook, YouTube, and other social media channels uh, to stop this. But on our own, as media practitioners, I think we will dismiss this information, powerful game, okay, you're very influential. And I know that uh, because I'm a media man myself. Salamat. Thank you. Okay, that's the end of our questions and answer portion. So this time we ask the parting statement of Secretary Andanar. Thank you so much, Elaine. Thank you for this opportunity. Salamat kayo sa PIA, sa ating uh, atong Philippine National Police. Uh, salamat po sa labi na sa inyo, ha? mga members of the media, ako mga kabaro, kaya sa Uzamis. We only have 11 days to go before the election day. Now, pasalamat ko on behalf of the President for the continued support that you are giving us. That you are giving the President as an approval rating, 79% of satisfaction rating. Sa mga gisaan ni Presidente ng 2016, anti-drugs, ang shabu karon from 2,500 pesos per gram on average, when we came in, karon 6,800. Corruption, 13% atong gi-asinso sa Transparency International, the highest since 2013. Criminality, Ginaog o 9% ang crime volume katong 2018 compared to 2017. Peace and order o napirmahan ang Bangsa Moro Organic Law ginaog sa plebisito. Ang wala na lang yun nato na deliver 
sa pasakad ni Presidente ang federalismo. It's a reality that we need allies in the Senate to make the federalism dream come true. So, naalan na ninyo kung gusto ninyo na ipadayon ni Presidente ang iyang mga gisaan, mga reforma, mga itapokyon. Kung gusto ninyo na patuman to, we need more allies in the Senate. So, Therefore, kung gusto ko ninyo ba itabo ang federalismo, supportahan nato si President Duterte pero maapo ang pagkita. Salamat kayo. Okay, thank you. Television for Entertainment and Development This is The Ted Channel